I've just spent the night in jail. Uh, I handed myself in. I didn't feel like being a lawless bounty uh, convict. Uh, hi! Welcome, fan with no name here. And welcome to episode 32, 3 of Red Dead Redemption. Which is quite amazing when I think about it. Because I never really sort of saw myself starting the game. I never saw myself getting this far. Or waiting for my horse as I whistle for it. But look, there's a train. I don't think we've really spent much time on the train at the moment. But look at it. It's all its glory. It is very reminding me of Back to the Future Part 3. Which you might see on this channel at some point in the near future. Just saying. Anyway. Today, uh, I thought... Oh, where's my horse? Excuse me. Right, I found my horse. Warhorse appears to have got himself stuck behind this cart. Not quite sure why. Anyway, we're off. And the train. Can we make the jump? We cannot. Can we just stop? There we go. Okay, right. So, uh, in today's episode, it's going to be a shorter episode. I'm going to shorten the lengths of the episodes, I think. Because, um, well, for one reason, I'll run out of the game. Uh, but I think it's a little bit more accessible to you guys if it's a little bit shorter in the long run but fear not as I have and I have been doing my research into other Western games I don't want to just stop with Red Dead Redemption uh, I have got the possibility of doing Red Dead Revolver which I'm sure you know is the predecessor to this one gun uh, also on the PS2, which I've never played, uh, so I'm sort of keen to move forward with that one. That would be a brand new experience for me. Or uh, there are some other sort of like real-time strategies, sort of R RPG Western games, which I might look at at some point in the future. Now, you'd also be able to notice that... Uh, what day is this going out on? Monday. So, last... Thursday, I played through Wild Guns. Wild Guns was a uh, game on the Super Nintendo back in the day, and it was freaking amazing. Uh, I never really played it before. I mean, I, I sort of knew of it. Um, I was always more familiar with Sunset Riders, and that game nearly broke me. But no, I played Wild Guns, and my goodness me, that is a good, fun game. So make sure you check that one out. I'll pop a link in the description so you can enjoy that. As I enjoyed it with that girl, Annie. Mm. So we are here in tall trees after a bounty. One which gave me a lot of trouble last time. He, for whatever reason, he just decided not to spawn. Or he just fucked off somewhere. And either way, time now for me to get him. And, whoa, let's not go near the water. What a lovely lake. We're going to play it smart. I'm stocked up. I've got my weapons. I am going to get this guy, whether he likes it or not. So, let's scout the area. We've got one guy, two guys, some birds, three guys. Is that dynamite? No. Horse, another guy. Is that the bounty? Hmm, I can't tell. He looks bountyish, doesn't he? He looks suspicious. So, I won't kill him because uh, I want some money out of it. Uh, he's going for a wee. Should I kill him while he's going for a wee? dead now. Okay. They're running to me. So I get rid of you. Okay. They're on the map. Look, so they're all running around. Okay. You. And you. I don't know if that's the bounty. I wouldn't have thought he'd be running after me if he's the bounty. But uh, he's down now. Missed that guy completely. Nah, he's gone. Wait for it, lead the target, and completely miss. Pretty weird. I had a I had a dream last night that I was playing Call of Duty. Um, and not that, not those newfangled modern Call of Duties on the PlayStation 4. I'm talking classic Call of Duty. I'm talking Call of Duty. Wow, that was a fantastic miss. Uh, Call of Duty on the PS3, heavens above. Now, PS3, Call of Duty, of course, we're talking about Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, which came out, can you believe this, 10 years ago. Uh, okay, 
yeah, so Call of Duty 4, I had that. It was freaking, well, don't want the horse. Oh, God, there's a bird all going wrong. Um, don't annoy me, mister. Call of Duty 4, I got it, and it was like nothing else I'd experienced uh, with that sort of game. You know, I, I, of course, I knew there was Call of Duty before Call of Duty 4, but that was only things like Call of Duty 3 and things before that. Call of Duty 4 came along and blew everyone out of the water with its quite impressive single-player campaign and more than addictive multiplayer. Uh, quickly now, Warhorse, we are being shot at. I'm going to have to take some medicine. I'm already at full health. Well, that's good to know. Ah, 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 ah. I'm trying to talk about Call of Duty, lads. Yes, so Call of Duty 4. Uh, single player was phenomenal, like actually uh, quite a rousingly good single player campaign. Um, what I liked about the single player campaign in Call of Duty 4 was the urgency. It was sort of like um, a good thriller film and it reminded me a lot of like a Ridley Scott film or something like that. In that the guys, so the story, oh, I can't really remember the story, but it's, it's basically the end of the world. And it's your job as part of these task forces to uh to stop this threat and it, i like how it's sort of all done underhanded like you're going along and it's a regular sort of day but in the background something terrible is going wrong and the last few missions in the game where you're sort of running towards um uh the silo in russia or wherever it is uh to to, to stop the nuclear missile launch that is straight out of the best of the best hollywood films and that is why um Call of Duty 4 is the best, uh, is quite clearly the best, because it treats the audience with a little bit of respect. Um, it's my home. Hi home, bye. And then the problem with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is with each and every installment, it stopped being a, a treasure chest. Do I want to risk it? I don't. Uh, Call of Duty 2 and uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and 3 as much as I played them, and they were still good fun, they were too much Michael Bay. You know, they were too much Team America. Especially in the third one, when you, you're in Paris, and it got to the point where no one really cares. So, you stop being a um, SAS crack squad of, you know, Navy SEALs, uh, and you just sort of become police squad, while you're sort of going about your business of trying to, like, save the world from these threats. No one, No one really cares. Like, you never get that impression through the game whereas i feel like in call of duty 4 it's handled a lot more it's handled much better and, and i like the urgency behind it all um but you know it was good and of course single player was one thing but the multiplayer uh, you know multiplayer in 3 i never uh, in modern warfare 3 i never really touched on um i didn't really buy uh modern warfare 3 to be honest until much later on call of duty modern warfare 2 i bought that on the day it came out i remember i walked into town you Coffee. I walked into town, went into the game shop, bought it. Just like that. And I spent most of my second year at university playing it. And uh, I still got a, a, a good grade. So I guess the lesson here, kids, is play video games. Because even though people say they're bad for you, they're really not. Just manage your time around them. Yeah. So I stopped playing Call of Duty after... Modern Warfare 2, um, but then I always thought Black Ops was not really for me, and then I picked up Black Ops just out of the uh, blue, and I have to say Black Ops, the first Black Ops is my second favourite Call of Duty. Uh, obviously Modern Warfare 4 is at the top, but Black Ops there's vibrating man again, look at him go, are you wearing a David Crockett hat? No, you are in fact you must be Mr. a Chinaman. Uh, yeah, Black Ops was really good as well. I, I had the same sort of um, tangible um, grittiness, which I liked about Modern Warfare for one. And I haven't got around to picking up the remastered Modern Warfare, but uh, I probably will when it's like cheap, because, you know, I do like that game. I haven't played it for a while. Like, I've had it on the PC as well. And to be fair, when you've got the PC version of Call of Duty... You can just put the console cheats in it and you've effectively got, you know, a brand new game anyway. Uh, but yeah, Call of Duty. This isn't Call of Duty though, this is Red Dead Redemption. Well, I hope you liked today's episode where I spoke about Call of Duty while playing Red Dead Redemption. It's kind of like those games 
those um, things where you have the color, which is the word of the color, like red, blue, or green, but the actual color of the word is another color. So you have to say the word or the color. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is that. So then, dear viewer, dear buckaroo, until next time, happy trails. Yeah!